So Deandra, uh, another T20 World Cup, how are you feeling personally ahead of this? Well, personally I feel really good, you know, um, being back in the squad is a really good feeling. It's been a bit of a long road back for you, hasn't it? I think the last game you played was last February, so just tell me about the recovery process. Obviously you've had some surgery as well, just tell me how you sort of reflect on that period. Well, um, going back on that road, um, yeah, it was a really long process for me. Um, the surgery, it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. Well, the surgery was successful, but um, the road to recovery, it, it had some challenges. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy at all. Um, I had to find uh, like means and ways to, you know, be, be keep on a positive side and and have some uh, um, extra confidence. Um, been times I feel felt down. You know, I felt like giving up at times, but I had to find the, uh, I do, I, well, I basically did a lot of praying and also uh, having my best friend um, just uh, text or call away to, to keep me motivated, you know, and, and, and giving me that belief to, to, to continue to, to, you know, keep believing and working in order to get back on track with the West Indies women's team. How close were you to, to kind of giving up? How, how, how close would you say you were? Well, to be honest, there were points where I felt like, yeah, I was actually getting somewhere. And then there were points where I'm like, feel like I, I taken like 50 steps back or just stuck. So it was, I, I was so close to a point where I just said, well, you know what, that's it. Um, I just think. I didn't think that I would have actually be like back with the West Indies women's team or even back playing any cricket at all. You know, um, I just said that I, I didn't even think that I would actually be able to use my shoulder how I want to use to use it. But um, it, I, I was like so close to actually like saying like you know um, I think I should call it. A, a day or a career or whatever the case may be, but then um, having the thoughts and speaking to Marissa Aguilera, it was, you know, it was, it gave me that extra boost and speaking to other people, like, I actually had a conversation with Alzari Joseph because he had the um, similar um, injury to me and he was like, yeah, those he he actually felt the same way but he he kept pushing you know and he actually gave me some tips on how to you know keep positive and keep on that track so i just find means and ways to keep on that positive track and just stay away from the negative side when, just to add on to that when was it uh, that period where you were uh, close to giving up the game when was it well that was i did the surgery on the 3rd of june um, I started therapy on the 4th of June. It's kind of like coming on to like, well, July, July, August, um, because it was a case where I couldn't, I, I couldn't do anything. Um, I felt so restless and the fact that I'm a very active person, um, I couldn't run. It's just therapy back home, you know, therapy back home. You couldn't and, run as well. No, I couldn't run as I couldn't run because of the shoulder movements and stuff. So it was around that time when I started to get depressed and you know but all in all, um I thank God and I'm, and I thank the people who, you know, helped me and spoke to me on being confident and staying on the positive side. So today I'm here, which I'm thankful for. Can you tell us exactly what uh, the medical uh, term was for what had happened to the shoulder? <laughs> well, um, basically when I got the results, it was, it had shown a tear in the MRI. But then, um, after I did the surgery, it was like, the doctor spoke to me and it was like, actually, no tissue on the bone. Oh. So, they had to do like, I got three incisions and stuff like that. A reconstruction? 
Well, you, you could basically say that. Okay. So I actually got three incisions, one in the, two in the front and one in the back. So I, I really think is looking back at it now is a, it was a it was a experience. Um, I actually take it as a lesson learned in terms of um, when you have to do like your gym work or your exercises, you, you, you really have to focus on doing it properly, you know, because any slight little thing can, can cause any injury. So um, I just encourage everybody, uh, all the athletes, no matter cricket, football, to pay, pay well attention. To, to their um, exercises and stretching and especially jump parts and stuff like that. So, so in terms of your bowling, how has it impacted that and, and how, how are you feeling with the ball in hand at the moment? Well, in terms of bowling, it, 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 it had a big impact on it. Um, being able to just come back and just being um, to bat. Um, but the bowling is coming along good, you know. Um, I think that my shoulder is actually feeling stronger than it was before the um, the injury, so I feel really good about it. You were the original record breaker, the, the first ever T20I century, the fastest half century. Since you last played a T20I, there have been 14 centuries. Um, do you feel like this World Cup will see more records fall? And obviously you as, as the world boss, you'd love to to be a part of that as well? Well, indeed, there will be a lot. I, I, I really think there will be a lot of, of, of records being broken or being set. Um, cricket is, is fastly evolving around the women. You know, they're actually improving. They're getting stronger. You know, um, they are, all things are actually learning new things. And, and I think it, it having being able to watch the men's game and how they do different stuff, I think um, that 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 that's a big impact on the girls as well because there are girls that are actually trying things that they see men doing and stuff like that, which I think is good. Um, last time when we spoke, 2016, 17 in uh, Sydney, I think um, we talked about some of the tattoos you have uh, and what they mean to you. Have you had any new tattoos since then? Well, my newest tattoo was the one on my right calf, mm -hmm. which is the logo of the West Indies. Yeah. That's my latest tattoo. Okay. And any others before that? Nah, they're, they're just the ones that you actually saw in 2016, 2017.